Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper. TV Raccoons can't go there by pressing X in the map. Oh, that's, that's okay, we're right here. Also, I got cookie in my teeth. <laughs> Oh, this is a really hard level, in my opinion. Uh, we have all the bottles in, in uh, Grunty's. I almost like Gruntilda's world. In, um, in Ms. Ruby's world. Jesus. There we go. Get Banjo, Kazooie, and Sly Cooper mixed up. I, 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 I get my previous LPs mixed up with my modern ones. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm only making, like, Sly Cooper references all the way through, uh, whatever I do next. I, I, I might be, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even know what the next LP is going to be as of now. Usually I record like months ahead of time. This is being recorded in the 10th of January, so it wasn't that long ago. And, uh... Yeah. But, um... Oh... Uh, I'm just saying. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, this isn't really far ahead of time. So I'm I actually I gotta get this whole LP recorded so I have time to think of my next LP because I can't. I I kind of want to do Banjo Tooie. Maybe even Sly Two in the long run, but I mean I will do those both those games in the future. I obviously have stated that multiple times. Banjo Banjo Tooie and Sly Two are both future LPs. But obviously those LPs I just be jumping straight into the same series pretty quickly. I mean, Banjo-Kazooie, I think I could jump into that and I'd be okay, but... I mean, I just did Banjo-Kazooie, and this LP's not gonna last long. And with as much good feedback as, uh, Banjo-Kazooie got... I don't even need to describe this level. <laughs> Headstone generators. Redstone's not a real thing. I don't know. Is there is is I don't know. Is it is it a real thing? What is is it a real That's a good question. I'm gonna ask I have to ask Notch about that. Is redstone a real thing? I'm not specifically asked Notch, I can ask the internet as well. They'd know. But it'd be kind of like Lapis Lazuli. By now, it's been so overused in Minecraft that no one really knows if it's a real thing anymore. If it was a real thing. I'm not sure about it. I mean, I see it being real. I see it being possibly real. But, uh... Stone to commit... The, it can, oh, well. Stone to commit electricity. What am I saying? There are... Stones can carry energy, of course. I mean, why not? Electricity of all energy. Well, well in other words, why not energy, but... Well, I guess light, electricity, and fire, I don't know. I don't know how everything works. I don't know how this world works, just, just don't bother me about it. I'm trying to play Sly Cooper, don't expect good physics explanations. Coins. Oh, I was wondering why I didn't get my key. Level over! That means it's time to fight Miss Ruby. This world, I feel like there should be more to this world. I don't know. Like, I feel cheated when I play this world. Am I, am I the only one who feels like that? This world feels too short. Now, I understand this is natural. Naturally, this is a really hard world to do, too. But... I'm going to do this in fast motion. No, I can't. This is cool, anyways. Okay, that thing falls down and kills them. And then... Here goes nothing! Hardest boss fight in the game, in most people's opinions. I had a lot of friends who could do this boss fight. I actually knew a lot of people who played this game, believe it or not. Most distastefully bad juju. 
Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, slap! I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. See you in the next world, slap. Um, inferring that another world is only juju, or whatever you're calling your voodoo religion shit, um, is wrong. <laughs> also, this is an easy battle. This is easy battle. Hardest battle in the game, most people say. That is cool! Although the thing's just going up and down, it's not looking like it's, uh putting much effort forth, whatever. But, um, yeah, this battle... Um... I'll describe the battle after I show you guys what it is. This is not the battle. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quiet tree! Quiet tree! Why don't I have my servant Chimlin spot you over? Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Okay. This at first might look like Guitar Hero or Dance Dance Central or press buttons when they fly across the screen. This game ain't got a good title. Well, it's not as easy as any of them games. Although I'm making it look as easy as them. The timing is very precise in this. But so is my fingers, apparently. You can't just press this before they come. As I've just demonstrated. <laughs> this is hard. But luckily you don't have to do that one part. Oh. Fine. Come on. I don't want to do this over again. At least I'm going to play cutscenes over again. Because every time you die, you got to do this all over again. And you got to do the... Uh... Actually, no. You got to do the whole thing over again if you die. Except for this. Don't play cutscene, don't play cutscene, don't play the cutscene, don't play the cutscene, don't play the cutscene, don't play the cutscene. Cut Damn it! I hate the cutscene. I always talk during the cutscene because I've already seen it. Um, but yeah, this is a really precise, difficult press buttons at the time they tell you to press the buttons. I don't know, I, I just, this, <laughs> it's a button pressing sequence part. You know, I've played a lot of button press sequence pressing games, but this has got to be the hardest of them all. And considering this is a really young kid's game, that's what makes it really bad. Like, I, even Assassin's, like Assassin's Creed, for example. Assassin's Creed has very quick button pressing, but you can press them at any time. Uh, besides, after, it's too late. But, this, oh my god. At least the next boss fight's easy. I love the sizing. <laughs> they should do this in the other games, they're a lot easier in the other games. But they're not as precise, and one hit wouldn't kill you. Now, here goes part two. Part two is the easiest one, I think, personally. I don't know about you guys. This is the easiest one right here. Even though it's got some weird button pressing sequences, it feels more less weird. Bring X into this. Oh, 
Oh, this music is really cool here, by the way. Look at that music! This is the best part of the whole song! I love this song! I don't know. This even without them doing that voodoo singy thingy. This is the best song in the whole game! Also, anyone else notice that when you press triangle then X it says voodoo? That is creepy. <laughs> good, good playing there, Sucker Punch. You really put a lot of work into this part. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this part's really cool. Holy crap, I'm doing great! This did not prove this is hard at all. You can just tell she's gonna troll real soon here. Oh, that was trolling with the X at the end. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it. But it won't help none if you'll fix me. Go after the Panda King. He's tough with a capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China. You'll laugh at it. Poke back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Oh, that this Chinese mouth movement. The right Japanese. Held notes from Japanese anime. Ancestor. Slight in common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. I wonder if making zombies actually is illegal. Because if it is illegal, if it isn't illegal for real life, it should be illegal in real life. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would regret not doing that. There's Murray. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The fetish five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. First, okay, remember how earlier I said Mugshot's world's my favorite one? Screw that, this is my favorite world in the whole game. This one, I feel like this is the world they put the most work into. And it's got some of the coolest levels. And this is kind of like a recap of everything you've learned through the game before we go to the final world. You actually have to do not only... You, it, I'm not even going to spoil, but you do literally do every kind of minigame you've done except for the one in Rally's world. I'm not even going to spoil what any of those were, though. Let's just say there's not a lot of regular levels in this world. Well, there is one regular level that is part of those groups of weird levels, but... I'm trying to find bottles here, sir. Because apparently this level has heart wants to be a challenge.
finding them because they're all over the freaking place. I can't miss a single one of them. That guy is kind of like the uh, firehead dude, by the way. They have a little like recap of all the enemies in the world in the game too. Would you look at that? A fireworks show. Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow. The rocket came from that giant statue. You can bet the panda king with the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Can they like? Please, just for a second, stop putting themselves in the most obvious parts in the world. I mean, really. Rally puts himself in a giant blimp. Mugshot puts himself in the giant fire hydrant. Ms. Ruby's in the dragon head. He's in that giant Panda King statue. When's the point when the, you know, in the other Sly Cooper games? I'm not lying. Sly 2 and Sly 3, they're not in obvious areas. They're in this... Hidden. They're literally hidden in those games. You gotta find them. Like, this game is weird about it. They're just like out in the open. You can tell where they're at. And I mean, I obviously it's like they're like their lair, and no one wants to go there. No one dares go there. The other games are more like, oh, if I went, if someone went there, they'd easily kill me. <laughs> but I don't know which one's more realistic. I mean, I understand someone being so powerful, you wouldn't want to go near their lair, anyways. But shit! Hey, Broski, you killed me! Why am I s just making a random, like, atten offensive Italian thing? Accent? I don't know. It's a stereotypical Italian mafia. It's the Russian mafia, what am I saying? You got my money! We want to kill you. Also, these ones just give you coins, don't they? Yeah, they're just the coins. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, fireworks. Just miss New Year's and Fourth of July, and any fireworks holiday in general. There's not going to be one for a while. Yeah, take my decoy. Yeah, do you turn around, sir? I love that they all like look like they're chewing on something. This is goes so much faster with the fast motion. Hey. My bronze! My bronze! 1 800 contacts. They can't have my brands. I have special eyes. Well, look. Look with your special eyes. My bronze! Lovely, lovely. I don't know how Sly survived that fireworks explosion, but whatever. I don't know how Steve doesn't even get damaged by a fireworks explosion. Am I the only one who noticed that? Minecraft, you can make fireworks now and they don't do shit. They don't even break blocks. They literally don't do anything. They're just pretty little lights, and they take so much stuff to craft. It's, it's, oh, it's crazy. They're like a creative mode kind of thing, though. They're not really the kind of thing you want to use in. Also, holding down circle makes you invisible now. I forgot to say, <laughs> I forgot about that. Hey, you try to swallow those. There we are. I'm looking for bottles in this maze, can you believe that? It's bad enough I can't find bottles in the easy parts of the game. When the game's easy. Uh, oh, here's one. Uh, I noticed some of this thing. Like right there. And right there. Um. Um. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, look at there. Last bottles at a level. What do you know? Press the circle. Yup. 
Bentley. Tell me the code. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Look at that progress. Ooh. I'm gonna get the key, I'm gonna end this level, and I'm gonna call an episode there. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Huckleberry Cooper. Hold down the circle <laughs> button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Also, I was, I don't know, I was just kind of like messing around watching some MLP. And I noticed something. Every freaking episode of that show is based off something. Like the one where, um, where it's uh, the Sonic Rain Boom and the Flying Contest. <laughs> That's based off Icarus. Anyone else notice that? Or the one with the Paris Sprites is obviously based off Gremlins. But I don't know. I've just I've watched over all the episodes. I was like, holy shit, they're based off movies and books and shit. Where did this come from? And no one's noticed half of them yet. Like, I, I don't know. Like, someone was describing Icarus to me, and I was like, holy crap, that sounds like that one episode. And I, I watched through a few of them, and I was like, holy shit, they are those episodes. <laughs> oh, here we are. Uh, the hub part of the world. Is it, is it ironic that I was talking about MLP, then I just randomly saved the hub? Anyways, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call an episode here, because uh, I'm fat. I'm not really fat. I'm sad now.